Hi, man, guys. Today we're gonna do a little, little workout. So half an hour, not too hard. I hear the dogs in the background. So what I like to do is a little, little stretch. But in order for me to stretch, I have to warm the muscles up because don't forget the muscles like elastic. So if you put elastic in the fridge overnight and you take it out try to pull it it's going to pop so that's the basic formation muscle so what i like to do is do a nice little warm up let's jump on the spot jump on the spot no let's start the blood to flow start the heart to pump so we're going to just jump on the spot we're going to do some small little jumping jacks with the elbow elbow jumping jacks. Let's warm the blood up. Then we do some slides back and forth. Breathing in to the nose, out to the nose. You get it on my dog in the front. Okay. I'm going to jump in jacks now. Remember the warming, you're warming the body up, you're warming the muscles up. Just bring your foot now in out. One, two, over. 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 Then do the straight leg. This is where the, the stretching starts. Open up your pelvis. Two more. Now you're gonna start right here. Bring your leg up, down. You're stretching your lower back and your hamstring right now. Nothing too strenuous. It's nice and slow. For the more advanced person, put your hamstring in the air. Always remember, always keep your core tight. Back there. Let's bring them up again. Stretch that lower back. And now the body's warm. We're going to do a little stretching. Stretching and breathing. Always remember, when you're stretching, you do not want to rush it. You want to breathe properly while you stretch. So we're going to start a normal old school stretch. Arms in the air. Your core tuck in. Keep your abs tight. Arms straight in the air and breathe. You're pushing your shoulder up when you breathe in, uh, down when you breathe out. Up, hold it, down, 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 out. So the arms are gonna come right around the circle. Breathe in, breathe out. In, out. That's just to relax the shoulders. So you're gonna put the arms in front of you. Always remember, keep your legs close or just on the shoulders. So it's my legs are towards right now, on the shoulders is just right here. Just step out a little bit. So you can do it either, either or. So arms together, you're bringing weight back, back here. Two, breathe in, out. Find your breathing pattern. Stretch the shoulders. The shoulders. You're going sideways, back in, nice and slow. It's not a race, you're just stretching the body up for the movementations that's going to come. Out, on the arms of the people. And you're going to mix it up.
So, rotate the shoulders, in, out, forward, backward and forward. Switch them up, nice and slow. Don't rush it. Now we're gonna stretch the lower half. So the leg, put your legs right outside the shoulders. You're gonna turn your right foot, your, your, your left foot straight and your right foot is gonna be angled like this. So it's gonna be straight here, angle here. And what you're doing, you're gonna push your body over, but do not go past your toes. So if you just have to take this back foot a little further back, so you take the back foot as far as possible, always keep your body straight. And you breathe into your nose, up to your mouth. Always remember to keep your diaphragm tight, your core. And the reason for it, you drop your weight into the center, you don't want to put too much excess weight on the knees right now. So you switch, you rotate, push this leg forward. Remember, you don't want it to go past the toes. Drop the arms in the center, and you breathe. Into your nose, try to keep this back leg as straight as possible. Into your nose, out to your mouth. Rotate one more time and over. Notice how my back don't really move. You want to take the weight in the center. Not too much pressure on the knees, but the weight is to be right in the center. So you just keep your hands here, keep your body straight. You breathe. You rotate again. Breathe. Always remember your posture, your how you angle your body is very important. Posture and exercising and movement is very, very important. Always keep your ankles nice and steady. Breathe. Now you're gonna to come to the center. Keep your legs open. Take your palms to the ground. You don't have to touch. If you can't touch, well, so be it. If you can't touch, and if you go here, always remember what you're doing. You're stretching the hamstring. So if you go only go here, then you just push your hand forward. Bring it back, rotate it, push it forward. Breathe. Breathe. Breathe, and if you can touch the ground, just go right down to the ground, come back up. Right down, up, right down. Down, okay. you hold your toes, touch your toes, or as close as possible. Breathe. Come up. Now we're gonna go from left, from right to left, from left to right. So we're gonna go just nice and slow, not too fast. Remember, you're still stretching. Arms straight to the front and straight at the back. Keep in and out to your nose and mouth. Three more. Two more. And one. So you hold it, breathe. Into your nose, up to your mouth. Switch. Same thing, hold it. Come center again. Relax your shoulders. Bring your arms up as far as possible. Breathe. Try to lower your back. Relax, come in, breathe that out, in, 
Oh. Hey. Oh. See the um in the perspiration? Even if it's nice and stretched, you can also perspire. So remember, so we're gonna bring the leg up, you balance on one leg, you're gonna hook the knee, and you're gonna bring it to your chest as close as possible. Breathe into your nose, out to your mouth, control the balance. You're gonna go back down, you're gonna switch, you're gonna bring it up, hold it, and pull. Don't want to let you off balance. Let's try to keep the leg in the air and pull. You can use one hand like this. You can pull. That's for the balance. Relax. Check it out. So, now that we have that little warm in the earth first, then the stretching, now we're now going to go into the routine. So today we're going to mostly concentrating on your breathing, most of all, and the way you move, the posture, along with the exercise. So we're going to start very simple. We're going to do some leg raises. We're going to do one at a time. So you can, you can incorporate your arms with this also. So we're going to start the arms up here. We're going to pull in, out. I'm just warming you guys up, getting you accustomed to me, but just now we're going to be doing some challenges. If you could talk while you're exercising, that's also very good because that helps you to breathe properly. As I said, you could do a good couple of different things with the arms. It's the leg we're working on right now. You can pump. Let's keep the leg up. I like to table top the leg, which is, let's make it so it's in the line of the hips. Land back on your, ankle, your toes to ankle. Don't ever land flat foot. Always land on your toes, then rotate to your ankle. That's also good for running. Five more. Three. Two more, and one. Always remember, when you're exercising, it's all about the core. So you have to keep the core tight. When you're exercising, I like to go for a certain count or up to two minutes or three minutes of an exercise I would do. And in between every exercise, I usually take um, about a couple of seconds break because I don't want I don't want my body to cool down and to have to bring it back up. So here we go now. That was the front leg that we're going to do to the side. So you just bring it up. You can keep your arms out like this. Keep breathing. Always remember. Try to always land back on your toes and then rotate the weight to your ankle. Notice how I'm not moving my arms. I'm not really moving my body a little that much. I'm trying to control my body. But if you have to go over, that's okay. Keep the arms to the front. The legs still stay at an angle. The higher you can bring them, it's better. I'm not conking right now. I'm just showing you guys the actual position and the routine. Uh, straight up. All this time I'm working my lower body, if you realize my arms are still going to be getting a nice workout because once you have your arms extended, you'll get tired, but you don't focus on the arms, just keep the arms up. Always remember your breathing. Five 
five more. Four more. Three more. Two more. And one. Come down. Breathe into your nose, up to your mouth. Breathe. And don't worry about the perspiration because that's what you want. Your body is actually cooling on itself. So, as we call it in the exercise world, so if you sweat, it's no problem. That's what you're here to do. To sweat. Burn some calories. So we just did the front leg, we did the side leg. Now we're going to do the back. And the back is quite simple. You just want to bring your legs right up as close to your butt as possible. Because this one is a little simple, I like to do this one with a little style. Let's kick. We go from side to side. See how my arms are pumping. See how my back is straight. I'm still landing on my toes. And you can do this one in a circle. You're going to go right round. Five, going. Showing you how it looks from every angle. Remember, always keep your core tight. Always keep your core tight. And since we're not using any weights, what I like to do is always keep my fists full. So we call this in the exercising world, we call this calisthenics, which is using your own body to create that resistance. So you're gonna go right round. Just show you guys how it looks this way. And as I said, because the back is kind of easy, sometimes I double it. Five, four, three, two, five. Four, three, two, one, single. We're going right back round. Coming right back round. Five, four, we're going to double it here. Two, I want you guys to realize that my knee is pointing to the ground. So that my foot will come up high at the back. So your knees to be at the ground. Stomach tight, always remember your core. On your toes, we're going five more. Four more. Two more. Three more. Let's go guys. Two more. And one. 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 And you're gonna come down. Relax, you're gonna come down. And it's always important, as long as you do a high intensity workout, you just don't dead stop. That's bad. So what you're doing, if, whatever you're doing, as long as it's high intensity, then you come down, you break it down, you come down, you come down, then you stop. You see, it's all about preparing the body for this coming ahead. So if, you, if, if you're running, you're running really quick, you just don't dead stop. When you're running, 
Then you come down, you come down, and you slow down. So you allow your heart to understand what's going. So you would bring down the beats, bring down the beats. But if you day stop, then your heart goes and keep bumping fast. So you don't want that. Anytime you're doing hit, a high intensity workout, you always have to slow it down. Don't day stop it. Just slow it down. That talking period, that was the That talking period, that was the relaxed period. So here we go again. So now we're going to tap the toes. Tap. Simple. Tap. Tap. As simple as this look. This is also very good for the core, for your legs, and for your balance. The stability of the ankle. Because only one leg is on the ground. But you only tap the toes. Now your, your arms could be out for the balance. Or your arms to be doing work while is your foot that you're concentrating on, your leg is tapping. And you keep breathing. So you can keep your arms like this. You keep your arms like this. So you're going to switch. Remember, you did, I didn't show you, but this leg has to be bent. So there you go. And this leg has to be touching the ground straight. Like that. So don't bend this leg, you only bend the leg that's on the ground. You can use your arms for anything, as I said. But always remember, keep the core tight. Keep the balance. And remember, for those advanced class, for the guys that's in the advanced class that have been training for a while, you guys can make this exercise even a little harder. So I'm going to turn to the, to the left, to my side, just to show you guys how to make this nice, simple, but still hard. So we're going to start, my legs bent. The leg that I'm using is going on the ground to start, but when I take it up, I don't put it back, sorry about that. I don't put it back on the ground. So there we go. This is for the advanced guys. And as I said, you can use your arms for the balance. If you're going to off balance, just put the foot on the ground, keep your balance, and then go again. So you're working your core. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, two, and you switch. This is also good for balance. So you get your position, let's go. Remember, for the guys that's now starting, you can tap the ground. You just can tap the ground, but for the advanced class, you just keep the foot in the air, don't tap the ground. Let's go, five more. Four more. Two more, three more. Two more. One, one. So as, I'm, as I said, the exercising is simple. It's up to the individual to take it to their level. I'm going to show you some of the basics, the posture, but the reps is up to you. But here, I'm not going to do 20 reps until I do the challenge. When I'm, when I'm showing you the movements, I'm just showing you the movements. What I want for you to do is take it at your pace and don't just use what I show you, but sometimes you can add your little flavor to it. As I say, it's just about the moving. So, here we go again. As I said, we're, we're trying to work on the lower half of the body whilst incorporating the upper arm, the upper half. 
That's why we use our arms, punch, whatever. So, we're gonna open our legs, just outside of the shoulders. Now there's four leg stance that we use in the exercising world. So you got the touch legs, which is the inside the shoulders. Then you got the under the shoulders, which is in the straight line of the shoulders. Then we have slightly outside the shoulders. As you see, my shoulders is kind of wide, so you have to go a little wider. So you have the outside the shoulders, and then you have the wide stance. Some people can go this wide, some people can go wider, some people can't go this wide. So it's up to you, the individual. You know, you're gonna go into the first stance. We're doing a couple of, uh, I would say squats. So let's go. So you're gonna bend. Always remember, when you're squatting, it's not about your Rush, it's not a rush. So let's go. You're gonna squat, you're gonna go. Down. So I bend my knees, my back go move. Down and back up. I don't want you to come tight in, but tighten your abs, don't straighten your knees. Because you want to keep your knees and your legs in the workout. So you're gonna go down, then you're gonna come up right here. Don't go no further up. Down. Right here. Always remember, keep that core tight. Down right here. If your knees open a little, that's cool. Down, right here. Down, right here. Keep, keep going, breathe. Oh, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. You see, I'm using my arms a little. Breathe in, breathe out. You guys can use your arms a lot. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Keep those legs as tight as possible. Keep those ankles touching. Breathe in, breathe out. You can breathe, find your own breathing pattern. I don't ever, don't ever tuck the legs in. Don't lock them, don't lock the knees. Always keep the knees in the exercise. Even when you're coming in, you see? Some of you guys are gonna do this on your toes. Some might be able to do it flat foot. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Try to keep your back as straight as possible. So now, you're gonna step right under the shoulders. We're gonna do the same routine, but I want you to witness something for yourself, I'm not gonna tell you. Go down. Down, and down, keep the back straight, down, 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 down. I told you guys to do this on your toes. You can do it flat foot, no choice. That's, that's the norm, that's with my car in the back. I'm sleeping for the noise. But I keep it real here. If you're listening to the noise, you're not focusing on your exercise. So, try to drown the noise. Focus on the exercise. I'm gonna go four more here. Three more. Now we're going to step out, outside the shoulders. And 
let go. Remember, even though your legs are opening up, try to keep your back as straight as possible. So we're actually working on the legs and a little bit glute. So here we go. Keep your legs bent. Don't bend them. Keep your foot position straight. Keep your toes straight. Remember, posture is very important. Not a waste, but take your time. Breathe. One to three, if your toes straight and your knees straight, when I say straight, I mean like this. See? Your knees straight, toes knees straight, toes knees straight. So don't wait till you get to the fourth one to switch. So if you do straight, keep straight. So here, let's go. So legs out, foot straight. And this one here. I like the tabletop, so you go here, right here, and you go up. Keep your back straight, keep those abs in, keep that core tight.
As I said, you can do anything with your arms. Breathe into your nose, out to your mouth. Five more. Better keep that back straight. Got going guys, got going guys, give it up. We assume at the end. Don't quit on me now guys, don't quit on me, let's go. Take, take your breather. I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you guys something at the end of this video. That if you watch the video, you understand why I answer the question at the end of the video. So here, let's go. So we're gonna do a little bit of lunging. So for this, I have to show you it from the side. But I want you to understand what I'm doing. Now, we're gonna forward lunge. Simple. Forward lunge means going forward, right? So we're gonna go forward and then we're gonna come back. We're not gonna lunge and go straight forward. So we're doing the forward lunge and back. Forward lunge and back. Good. Now that you've got that on the um out of the way, now this is why how I do my lunges. As I said, I like to make sure that my body, my posture is good and everything is lined up the way it should. So we're going to start with the left foot first because I want you guys to see the angle. So we're going to step out. Notice how I come off the back foot. Right? So we're going to step back in. We're going to step out. I'm just showing you the basics. Don't start. Step back in. We're going to step out. We're going to step back in. Now, that's the step out part. So, the lunge is the step out and the dip. And back up. So, this is the step out. Remember, this is the step out. Now, this is the step out. This is the dip. Back up. This is the dip. Back up. What you want is when you step out, your knee is supposed to go close as possible to your ankle. I hope you guys can see this. So when you step out, the knee comes here. See, the weight is even. There's no weight on my front foot. There's not much weight on my back because I, I, I had it even out. So you step back in. When you step out, dip. Back in. Let's go. Out. Back in. You can do anything with your arms. Back in. I'm showing you this, this one foot this side, I'm going to switch the other side. Back in. Step out, dig, back in. Step out, dig, back in. Step out, dig, back in. When you're coming back in, push up one time. Don't double it. Right in. Out, in. Step out, dig, right in. Step out, dip, right in. Step out, dip, right in. We're gonna do the other side. The right foot this time. Step out, dip, back in. 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 You don't want the space too much. Back in. Don't mind all balance in, let's go. Back in. Step out, dip, 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 back in. 
the fault de Matthew. The fault de Matthew. When you're stepping out, step on your heel, rotate to the toe. So you step on your heel, right there you go. Don't let, your, don't let your knee hit the ground. It's all about you controlling your body weight. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Two more. Two more. Two more. Two more. Last one. And in. Good. So, always remember the basics. Your body position, your body posture, your breathing. But it's also very important to breathe while you're exercising. When I say breathe, I mean into your nose, out to your mouth. Into your nose, out to your mouth. When you breathe into your nose, that's the fresh oxygen you're taking in. Go down one hole. When you're breathing out, that's okay. That's the old gas you're taking in, taking out. Carbon dioxide it gets out of the body. So, that was a nice little, I would say, I would say introduction, but I have a couple videos on YouTube already. So, guys, after a nice, where it be, high intensity workout or low intensity workout or medium you always and you should stretch you don't have to stretch 10 hours but for your new for your for your new guys that's new at it and for the guys that's or the ladies that's going to get back into it always remember to stretch after as i said it don't have to be an hour stretch it don't have to be 15 minutes, it be nice, five minutes. But it's up to you and how you stretch. You understand? Again, I can only show you the exercises. It's up to you to want to, or to want to, get up off your couch, stop watching so much TV, and you know what? Reclaim this, your body. Yeah, you gotta get off the couch and reclaim this. As you see I'm talking, so this is my cool down area where I talk to you. So yeah, I'm talking to you, I'm cooling down. So now we're gonna go into the stretch because you have cooled down a little bit too much right now. So and everything we are stretching, we're gonna always connect with nature. So here we go, we go in. Oh into your nose. Out to your mouth. Into your nose. And when you're coming out, I want you to hold that diaphragm in. Don't let go, don't, don't release those muscles. Keep those tight. Five. Out. In, keep those muscles tight. Out. In. Out. In. Out. So this is called muscle breathing. So you're using your muscles to push that air up. I'm gonna bring it in, the muscles supposed to be tight. Let's go. In. Out. In. Out. I'm gonna come and look closer so you guys can see. Here we go. You go in, the diaphragm goes up. Hold it in the air, hold the diaphragm up, goes out. Bring the arms down, keep that body tight. See my, see my, uh, my, my, my abs don't move. So I'm gonna show it from the side. I'm going in, diaphragm goes up, hold it. I go, I'm coming out, keep my diaphragm in, keep my abs in, out. So when I'm coming out, I'm tightening my abs. I'm giving the abs a nice workout. Good. Hope you guys catch that. So now, because we do a lot of leg work, we're gonna do some leg stretches mostly. So you're gonna bring the leg up, 
back down. It's up, back down. Up, back down. You try to point those toes, that those knee, that knee up in the air. Don't bring your back over. Keep your back straight. You bring the knee up. The knee will relax the abs and the back. As long as you point your knee up to the sky. Up to the sky. Nice and slow. Remember, it's a, it's a stretch. So nice and slow. Two more. One more. So you're going to the side. Bring the knee up. Two more. All right. So you're gonna take the knee up, take it out, bring it down. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. Up, out, down. This, this, this here now, you're gonna open up your pelvis, the hip bones, everything. It's gonna get that back, a nice little lower back stretch. Up, out, back down. Up, out. Up, out, back down. Up, out, back down. Up, out, back down. Two more. Up, out, back down. Up, out, back down. It's all good. So we take it to the back. Then we're going to bring it to the front. So we're going to start from the back. Bring it around. From the back. Tap, tap. Turn your body. Bring it around. If you can't get that one, do that one is too hard. This same position. You use your arms. Breathe it into your nose, out to your mouth. And now we're gonna do a little leg stretching. So you're gonna go here, here. If you can't touch the ground, no problem. You're stretching the glute. The hamstring. And you can do it nice and slow, but the straight. The touch right in front of you. Two more. Right. So, in this position, so we're going to just rest our knees, our, our hands on our knees, and we're going to carry our butt to the ground. We're going to come up. Back down. Come up. Back down. Every time you come up and you go back down, try to push your butt in. You want to feel it in the glutes. Two, one more. Push it in. Nice. Breathe. Relax. So you're going to shake it out. Shake it out. Always remember your breathing. Breathe properly, slow the heart rate down. This is the coming to the end. So guys, I want to thank you for watching. Please like, please subscribe. I'm on YouTube. My name is Pedro Richards, you can find me on YouTube. As I said, go and like it, go and subscribe. Sorry, go and subscribe. Sorry. Subscribe to the page. Um, like the page, subscribe to the page. So, that little thing that I was supposed to tell you guys is you guys see water anyway, apart from the pool, you see me drinking water. Didn't. Good. I like to do, I like to tell my clients, do not drink too much water while you're exercising. That's just my preference. And a lot of my clients, I do personal training one on one. When they first come, they come with this bottle of water and it was cold. I usually throw them away. If you, want, if you have or you feel you have to drink water, do not drink cool water. Make sure that water is room temperature. In Barbados, you can say 
warm because of our climate. You other guys, I don't know what's your room temperature, I don't know what's your outside temperature, but don't let it be cold that if you take two seats, you have to bring it down. Not supposed to like that. And while you're training, your water amount should be not that great. You can drink water, if, you, if some people can't control their body training so they have to drink some water. I have no problem with that. But if you're training all the time, all the time, and you have to drink water all the time, check something. Anyhow, guys, it was nice being here with you this morning. As I said, I'm on YouTube. Subscribe, like. My name is Pedro Richards, or Dr. Pidal. But my exercise name, my exercise business, is called Jigsaw Body Training. Yeah, you're, you're gonna be seeing a lot of that just now. It's called Jigsaw Body Training. So I wanna thank you guys for watching me. Let's get fit, let's get moving. Let's sell some pounds. You understand, because that's what it's about. It's about shedding pounds, let's get fit. Let's take after our bodies. Because this is the only body you've got. You gotta take care of this right here, right now. So subscribe to YouTube, guys. Come on YouTube, follow me, subscribe, and I love you guys, look out for